Hey YouTube family! So in this video, I will be showing you guys how I, how I know how to fix holes in my locks. The reason why I stress I is because once again, let me give you guys the disclaimer. I am not a loctician. I was not licensed in that profession. I am not a lock guru. I am no way a professional when it comes to locks or hair care. All I've been doing all these years is just showing my experience with you guys, showing you guys my journey and the things that I've learned over the years. So the way I do things might not be the way that you, someone else would do them, but this is my way and it's worked for me so far. So without further disclaimer, let me show you guys how I fix holes in my locks. Now I rarely get holes in my locks, it's not that common. Over the past six years since I've had my locks, I've had a few. I would say no more than five or ten. I don't, I don't. I don't remember. But I don't have any now. But I'm just going to pretend. We're going to play a game of pretend, and I'm going to show you guys how I will fix it. Well, how I fixed it in the past when I did have holes. I found this one over here that we're going to pretend has a hole, and we're going to work on it. This one right here. Let's just say the hole is right here. What I do to fix the holes in my locks is I just interlock that part of the lock more. So this is my interlocking tool that I used to lock, lock my hair now. I used to interlock my hair. This is what I use. It's the nappy lock, nappy lock tool. I have all four of them and this is the second to largest one. And that is what I used to interlock my hair. So. Let's get the tool on the lock. So this is how it would look. You have the tool on the lock. And just at that part, whatever part it is that it has the hole, I just take my hair and just, let's see if you can see. Right in that area, interlock in the same rotation as if I was doing my regular interlocking and just pull it through. It's going to be kind of hard for me to do it now because like I said, I don't have holes in my lock, but I want to show you guys a good example. Oh, it's stuck now. See? Now it's stuck. The lock too tight feet. And I'll just pull it through. And I continue to do that. And once you continue to do that, it will close up the hole because you're like you're making knots in that hole and it will close it up. So some people might argue, doesn't that cause more holes in your locks? No, I've been doing it for a while and it hasn't caused more holes in my locks. It just tightened up the whole thing because I'm like knit knitting a pattern in that section that has, that has been opened basically, that has holes. So that's how I do it. That's what has worked for me. I saw me do it. I saw, that's how I fix the locks. So hopefully that answered your question about how I fix holes in my locks and that's it. Oh yeah, I did, wait, before I finish, I did have another question on another one of my videos. Someone asked me, what is this thing, how do I um, lay down my edges? Now, I don't want to mess up this cute, cute hairstyle right here, but I'm going to try to answer that question as well. As you can see, my edges are not necessarily laid. I don't worry much about my edges being laid. The only time my edges really get laid is when I do a fresh interlocking. But within a few days, it comes right out afterwards. And then I can also use edge control and I'll gel it down. And I do that on occasion, like if I do a nice high bun and I want to gel it down for that day, I do use edge control and it holds it for the day but usually by the end of the day especially in the summertime it's back out again so for me it doesn't bother me that my edges are out that my edges are you know let's see under here see that it doesn't bother me usually my hair is covering it anyway or my hair is in a style where it's to the side and if my hair is back it really doesn't bother me so Two ways I do it is with edge control or when I do a fresh interlock in the front, it holds it. Within a, the interlock within a day, it's out. And with the edge control, within a few hours, it's out. So that's something that I don't let bother me. And hopefully you don't either. If it really that bothers you that much, then just keep putting on that edge control. I can't say anything about the health of your locks afterwards, but I mean, 
to each his own. Anyway, that's all. Both questions answered. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Um, don't forget, you guys, I do work a full-time job, and I'm a mother and a wife, so sometimes the questions don't get answered right away. If I don't answer them in the comment section, I try my best to do a video to show everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media sites. Everything is at Kaya Journey. And don't forget to enjoy your journey. I'm out, you guys. Bye.